Good luck and high flying friends. Today we're having a look at the new hotness in the world, Wingspan from Stonemeyer Games. This gorgeous addition to the tabletop community is hot off the presses and we're going to find out exactly why everyone's going nuts and Gary's berries for this title. Let's dig inside the box and then we'll play through a few rounds to give you an idea of how this one works. Fly away with me, won't you? So this is Wingspan from Stonemeyer Games. Uh, plays over four rounds. We are going to be accumulating birds into our particular space where birds live, uh, like an aviary. Habitat. It's called the Habitat, uh, habitat. Nicholas. Um, and on our turns, we have eight action cubes per player. And over the four rounds, you're going to be spending all of your action cubes to take one of four actions. You can either play a bird from your hand, um, and you will you pay uh, whatever the food the bird eats. So they're uh, on the cards, and we'll do one of these right here. Um, un directly underneath where the bird lives is what the bird eats. Yes. So you must pay the food the bird requires in order to place it into one of its given uh, particular habitat. So either water, in the grasslands, or up in the trees. This is a gray cat bird, by the way, and it's eating a berry. Yeah, it's adorable. Um, any food, any singular food, can be substituted by any two of any other food. So this particular food requires a worm and two berries. So if you had a worm, a berry, and then two other things, you could play that card. Um, some of them have just a single mouse uh, or two. This one has three. If it has a slash, it's either or. You can pay one cost or the other. Uh, to play a bird into your first column costs nothing. You simply take an action cube, take a bird from your hand, pay the food, and place it into its particular habitat. If you wanted to play a second bird in that habitat, it would cost you an egg, and we'll get to eggs in a second. But the costs of every action are listed wherever you would place the cube, and you always play from left to right. And I want to point something out, too, because yes. this was a little confusing to me when I learned the game. This play a bird road here is its own distinct action, yes. the same way as putting something in the forest is or whatever, but it does not cost an extra egg to play in these locations. This is only in relation to the play a bird action, not to the whatever you've got going on in these other columns. Correct. So. so the second action is gaining food from the bird feeder. You would again take an action cube and wherever there is not a bird, so if you had a bird here, you would place it in the leftmost space that is not occupied by a bird. You would then take as many dice from the bird feeder, which is a little bird feeder. It's so great. Uh, Adorable. It's a little dice tower. Um, and you would then, so if I would take this berry away and gain a berry and add it to my supply. Um, if it had two dice or three dice, you would obviously take that many away. Um, there are also action spaces that allow you to spend cards to take an additional one. So you could spend a bird card if you placed a cube here to take a die and then spend a bird card to take another die from the bird feeder. The bird feeder is replaced whenever it is empty or if a player chooses whenever there is only one type of food available. So if this was your action, you could either take the berries or remove them and re-roll. Remove, or sorry, re Reroll everything that's left in there. Got it? Yep. Cool. Um, and then as the cube, so you would place the cube here, take the action, and then if there was a bird there, you would take, you would do the brown ability of any birds that are in the column. So in this case, you would repeat a brown power on one other bird in this habitat. However, there are none, so, but as the cube moves to the left, you would activate the brown abilities of the birds in that row. Make gotcha. sense? Yep. And that's the same for all of these actions as well. Next up is lay eggs. Uh, a bird lays as many eggs as uh, it is going to tell you on the action space. So again, this would be two eggs, this would be three, this would be four. And the birds on their cards say how many eggs they can hold. They can hold, yep. That's how many eggs that they t typically lay in a given season. We're learning. Well, proportionally, anyway. Um, so yeah, same idea. You can pay a food to gain an extra egg on these two action spaces, but same idea. As you move the cube down, you activate the brown powers. But birds, uh, you would place the eggs on any bird that you want, as long as it has room on the bird for an additional egg. And the colors of the eggs don't matter. They're just there for variety. Nice. They're just so lovely. Little pastel candy. They're really pretty. They look like candies, but they're not. Don't try to eat them. No, Megan, said, no, no, no. Said, no. <laughs> don't, no, all right. The last <laughs> action you have available to you is to draw bird cards from either the open cards on the display or from the top of the deck. Great. That's it. That's the entire game. So all to right. start out with, we all have five, five bird cards in our hand and one food token of every type. You can keep as many birds as you want, but you have to feed them one food of any kind in order to keep them in your opening hand. 
Let's That's talk great. about our win conditions as well. Oh yes, round. thank you. That's a good idea. So every round you are going to have uh, points available for bonuses. In this case, this is a nest type uh, of this, which is just a regular, just looks like a regular nest. And like on the bird cards, it says what kind of nest they live yep. in. So this Cooper's hawk has the type of nest that this bonus requires. So we're looking for a birds. twig nest? Birds of twig nests uh, with an egg on them. So okay. whoever has the most birds with twig nests with an egg on it, put an egg on it, uh, we'll get four points at the end of this round. And then second place gets one, third place gets zero. And what happens is you will take one of your action cubes at the end of the round and place it wherever you get the points, thereby eliminating one action from the next rounds further down. I'm gonna move these in. That sounds great. So that our faces have room. Okay, great. Great. Great thought. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so and then so in round two, you would only have seven actions available to you, not eight. And so each round, there's a different kind of victory condition that you can try and play for. The max points going up each round. So the seven, or excuse me, the fourth round, seven max points for first place mm -hmm. for uh, birds with three eggs on them in a water habitat. In uh, so you're looking or for any sets. Habitat. Yep, a set of birds, uh, sets of three eggs, in. So you want to have like an egg, an egg, an egg on a bird in one Oh, I see. Okay, interesting. So and yeah, and they change sets. every round, which I think is pretty cool. But also, each of these birds have points on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have hidden victory point conditions too. Yes. So you will decide which birds you're going to keep first and then choose your power. Or you can do it in any order since it doesn't technically matter. And... Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do we want? That kind of nest? Sure. Keeping that one, this one, this one. I'm going to keep this victory thing. So you have to throw away one food for every bird you're keeping. And this one, we just want an egg on a bird with a twig nest. Yep. I'm going to keep three birds. birds. That's kind of wild, but. Where should I discard my birds? No, over there. I'm only keeping two. Okay. But I've got to think about my food here real quick. Um, give that, give that, give that. And then whichever bird bonus card you're not playing, I will take. Oh. There, there you go. go. All right, now we will schwazi to see who is first player. Classic us. Schwazi for first. Nicholas, how many times have you lost Schwazi on? I have Good luck, high five. Innumerable. How much money would I have to pay either of you to name your kid Schwazi? <laughs> it's kind of wow. a cool name. That is, I really, I mean, not a lot. No! Oh, oh, Nicholas! Finally have it, Nicholas! <laughs> All right, so the first player token is this gorgeous uh, cover art from the game. Yes. Wingspan. Beautiful. All right. What are you gonna do? What am what I going you gonna to do? do? I am going gonna to do play with these birds for you. this common merganser. So I'm going to take my cube, place it on the first column to the left, and I'm going to play a common merganser. It's just a common merganser. For a fish and a worm. Nice. And it's worth five points. Very cool. That's it. Very and cool. And then the cube slides all the way down. I would also like to play a bird. Sure. So it's going on, on that little space, and I'm going to play it down here to my northern harrier, um, which it's uh, you know medical name, <laughs> which is not really what I meant. Scientific name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a medical name. It's medical name. <laughs> it's medical name. What's that bird's <laughs> medical name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it because it's Circus Cineus. Which I oh, think is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Um, anyway, it needs to eat this mouse to live. So there. Wow, there it is. And uh, all of these down. are American birds, birds that can be found in America. And there's uh, a talk little. Let's talk about our activated abilities, though. There's a little. We will. Uh, okay. Fin let me finish talking Go about ahead. how cool this game is. All right. Um, it has the Very appropriate cool. wingspan of the birds, hence yes. the name of the game right there. And uh, a little fact about the bird right at the bottom and where it's located on the, on the planet. I'm going to draw else? bird cards. I'm going to draw this Cooper's Hawk. Sure. Upside down. Dunsies. All right. Uh, I am going to draw a bird card. Oh, wait. No, I'm not going to do that. I am going to gain food from the bird feeder. I'm going to gain a fish. A fish. Just a little fish. 
Just a little fish. A little fish. Okay. Um, what do I even want to do here? What's in the bird feeder anyway? Yeah, I'll berries go. And a fish. fish and I'll go and get a fish in from the you bird, got bird it. feeder. Oops, I, sorry, I gave you the die. You gave me this. <laughs> I'm going to play a bird. I will play. I like them all. I'm going to play my Cooper's Hawk. Okay. And I will feed it a little mouse. Yes. Eep. And then I am Dunsies. Yep. Uh, I am going to. I'm going to reroll all the dice. <gasps> Oh no! Cubes down, cubes down. So I'm gonna put them into the back of this little die tower. Oh, here. it's so great. Yeah! Three oh, worm. worms. Worms, 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 worm excursion. I'm also going to use this turn to play another bird. This time we're playing the. So you, if you want to play it there, you gotta play it in the second column and you owe an egg. Oh yeah, you're you right. I that. can't do that. So I better lay an egg. Better lay <laughs> two eggs. Two eggs. I'm gonna lay two eggs on this northern harrier, which it can only hold two, so. Good enough. Good enough. Hmm. I am going to play a bird again. Okay. And I am going to play this Sprog's Pipit. Oh, that's a great name. S yes. Sprog's Pipit. Sprog's Pipit. I'm going to feed it a worm and a wheat. Yep. And it is a very good bird. And it says, when played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Oh, oh there card we go. Card is so good. So we've played this game once before. And yes. Megan was able to amass quite a collection of bonus cards, which I feel like was a huge advantage in the end. Yes. It I certainly isn't bad. Uh, while I felt that's like I was happening. doing pr poorly early in the game based on like just like bird points and these points. And at the end of the game, I did very well because I had drawn so many extra bonus cards. Yeah. I think I'm I had like three extra bonus I'm cards. I'm going to take another worm. Oops. That was a fish. Yes. Okay, now I can play my bird, the Anhiga, right here. Oh, um, yeah. So I'm going to put my cube up here to Anhinga. play another bird. Anhinga. Anhinga, which costs an egg. Mm -hmm. And I've got to feed it two fish. Good thing we've got a couple of fish over here. you got a couple of fish. And there you go. Well done. All done. Move this back over. All right. There you go. Okay. We oh, is four it my action? Yes, is your action. Is my action. I am going to... What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Ooh, great question, everybody. Great question. Great, great question. question, team. I am going to... Mm. Felt like us. we were almost there. We <laughs> almost, almost got something. I almost what? We almost had a decision. You almost had a oh, decision. Oh yeah, we did almost have a decision. Hey now, hey now. Hey now, now. You're a rock star. Nope, that's not. <laughs> that's not what we're going for. No. Nope. I'm going to draw a bird card. I'm just going to draw this top bird card. Sure. Top you bird don't card. You like any of the bird cards that are out there? What about that little falcon? It's a peregrine falcon. This is a very popular. You're bird. a peregrine falcon. Thank you. Uh, I am going to play, uh, nope, I'm going to get eggs. <laughs> I wanted to play a bird, I love but that. I couldn't. Every time we're like, I'll get, e nope, nope, need eggs. I think I'm also going to lay some eggs. Sure. This one wants some eggs, my Anhinga. Anhinga. It is Arhinga Anhinga. Anhinga Anhinga. Yeah, it's, it's just like bison bison is the is the scientific, or as I call it, the medical the name medical of name. a bison. Oh, <laughs> the bison. medical name of a bison. I am going to go ahead and... Yeah. Get some foods. Sure. What food would you like? I'm going to um, get a fish. You got it. And then I'm also going to discard a bird card to get... Another one. Sure. So I will uh, discard the Says Phoebe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. To get a wheat. So I'll get a fish and a wheat. Oh, sorry. That's right. And then this one says, when activated, look at the top bird card from the deck. If it's less than 75 centimeters, tuck it under this card. Because it got eaten. No, it's part of his flock. I like to think it got eaten. It got eaten. <laughs> no. Look at this little predator symbol. It's a predator bird. Uh, it's a hawk. It's and like it's going to eat this black bird. Oh, what? wow. Black bird's under 75 centimeters? 41 centimeters. Wow. Oh, smaller than thought you they thought. they were bigger. So were bigger. tucked cards count for one point at the end of the game as well. Yep. They get one point for every card that's tucked underneath. Uh, I am going to now 
play another bird, spending an egg off of that. I'm going to play this white-faced ibis, or Plegatus Chihi. <laughs> Defeat what did you say? Plegatus Chihi. Fish Ooh, that, and two worms. That is worth eight points at the end of Yeah, the it is. Pretty good. Thanks. Uh, sh slides down. All right, I'm going to draw a couple of cards here. You got them. What would you like? Um, oh, great question. Um, can I possibly feed that thing two mice before the end of the game? Probably not. We've got one more food left over there. Before the end of the game? Most I mean sure. I mean round. Oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. Um, so we'll, we'll, you know, we'll take it anyway. And we'll draw from the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then these activated. When activated, roll all dice not in the bird feeder. If any are fish, gain one fish and cash it on this card. Mm -hmm. And cached uh, resources are also worth a point at the end of the game. You did not get a fish. Did not Sorry. get a fish. Uh, now we activate our northern harrier. When activated, look at a card from the top of the deck. If it's under 75 centimeters, tuck it. It's gonna eat it. Oh look, it's gonna eat this warbler. Oh, it's, it's so, so small. Cute. It's a little warbler. It it's a good it. snack. It Twenty centimeters. It. Very what small. A snack. And then we're done. All right. All right. I am going to play bird. I'm gonna play this black skimmer and feed it to two fish. Two fish. One fish. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. <laughs> You should have one more action cube than you do. I'm not sure where it went, but you Maybe should Maybe it's I dropped it. It could be. Yeah, because I have two over here. Oh, wait, oh. here it is. Nope, that's just a piece of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this studio. Classic. Our that's studio is very clean. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's on the table. You just didn't, you just put it in a weird place. Oh, oops. You should have eight total, and you do. Oh, yeah. You're right, because I only fed, I only went to get food once. Yep. Okay, my bad. Uh, that's all right. What am I going to do? I am going to put an egg on it. Put an egg on it. Common merganser. I might have done my turns differently. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you had if two you had left. Two left. Whoops. Um, Whoops. Way to oops. pronounce both the W and the H in that I'll word. Go get a, <laughs> I'll get a worm. Sure, oh, you got too. it. Sometimes you just need to go get a worm. I do know that. I'm going to get two eggs. And this means I can get a food for another egg? You can turn in a food and gain another egg, yes. I don't have to, though. The bird feeder is so sad. Look at all those mice. Some predators oh, are going to have mises. a nice day. Mises? Oh, PJ. That's a little bit of uh, Robin Hood the animated <laughs> for you right there. Uh, I'm going to draw cards. Oh, this feels so bad. I'm going to do it anyway. I need to stock up for the next turn. Uh, I'm going to draw two cards two from cards, the top of the deck. Two cards. And then when activated, roll all dice not in the bird feeder. If any are fish, gain a fish and cash it on this card twice. Oh, nothing. Real bad. Boo. Okay, so bad. are we counting eggs on these birds? So if I lay an egg now, then I'll, I, I could either tie with Megan or win. Or is nope. it just like on, it's on a bird? It's on a bird. So right now you're winning. But you're you winning because I only have one nest that's of the right type. Oh, that's true. That's yep, true. Same. Okay, so what do I want to do? Um, if I was playing for the next turn, I guess I would just go and... Um, what's the next victory condition? Uh, birds with cavity nests. Holes in trees. Yeah, holes in trees. I'm going to go and get a mouse, I suppose. Okay. No, do I want a mouse? No. Give me a wheat. You got a wheat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am going to... Get some bird cards. Just one bird card. Uh, but I, I could spend an egg. You can spend an egg. Yep, card. you sure can. So I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Put, chalk one up. Ding. There's another one. Another point. Ding. Uh, Not in the game. Just a regular. I will spend an egg. Okay. To get another bird card. Uh, I'm going to take this barn owl. Mm -hmm. Oh, classic bird. And birds do not replace in the yes. display until Until turn my turn is, is done. Yep. I know. So but many people don't. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just being clear that I do know. And I appreciate that fact. I think actually I'm going to take I am going to take this barn owl. And I'm just gonna press I'm gonna press my lock and draw. Sure. You got it. Great. Wait, why did you just replace that? Because it's the end now of it's turn. the end of my turn. Oh now it's the end. Okay. Um roll all dice. There's only one. You get one. Fish better than mine. No, nope. that's a mouse. Okay. All right, so now it is the end of the round. 
Yep. The end of the the end of the season, I guess. Um, and we would see who has the most uh, of these type of nest birds with eggs on them, and that would be Maria. Yep. So you would place one of your action cubes in the first place space. We did it. And you and I tie with one. Yep. So we each get for the second place space. Perfect. And then we would play round two. We just oh, go right wow. from here, right in there. I have to say. I know that we said we're only going to play one round, <laughs> but I lo I legitimately love this game so much mm -hmm. that I want to play it. It's like so I, I good. wish that we could keep playing. Yeah, because I so enjoy this game. It's really great. It's very pretty. Um, the the components are so satisfying. The eggs are gorgeous. This bird feeder dice tray dice tower is yes. wonderful. Yeah, and uh, the box actually itself has a little map to tell you where everything goes back in the box so that everything You're fits in there such... so nicely. <laughs> You're such a Nicholas. I have a thing <laughs> for like really well put together yeah, organization. Yeah. yeah, I do. That's true. But also this gameplay is is wonderful. The engine building as yeah. you go, it kind of really builds. Like this is a nice engine if I can get it going and I didn't have no dice yeah. to roll. Yeah. But that's really nice to have happen. I had a, so we, when we played this game at first, I had a bit of a trouble tra kind of getting the train on the tracks as yeah. it were right from the start. So I will say that it is a little difficult to start off with, um, but once you get that train on the tracks, mm -hmm. to continue the metaphor, it is a fabulous game and I feel like very deep as well. You could play this game, you know, 20 times and I think every time would be really different. Well, and the, there's so many bird cards as well. And each yeah. bird card is unique, which mm -hmm. is really cool. And the you, art's would you gorgeous. say that uh, what what is the the main hampering feature for you, like learning how to play? Like what prevents you from getting it quickly? It's just complicated. There's a lot of decisions to make, like keeping selecting birds to keep in your opening hand, the, the changing you know uh, victory conditions mm -hmm. at the end of every round, uh, trying to build your engine properly with the food and the limited resources that you have. There's a lot of different factors that you're looking at. Like each bird, you're looking at oh, wh both it's where can it live and what does it eat and what kind of nest does it have mm -hmm. yeah and then at some point you might also be looking at like how many points is it worth by itself or like how does it add up based on my bonus cards absolutely i will say i also um agree with maria like the first time that we played it i definitely felt like i was struggling for a couple of rounds but i i also i loved that in that game um as we mentioned like i ended up drawing a bunch of bonus cards i ended up with a bunch of birds that got me new bonus cards and at first i was just like i'm basically like throwing a hail mary here because yeah. i think that i'm losing very badly and it helped me come back mm -hmm. um and it may like so i loved that there was this room for me to stumble into a winning strategy mm -hmm. even while i felt like i was like oh gosh i'm definitely losing there's still ways to play play out of it, yep. which I very much appreciate. And the, the bonus cards themselves will tell you what percentage of the cards in the game. Yes, which is amazing. Will that give is you, wonderful. Will give you, so you can kind of plan towards that strategy as well. Um, like this time this time around, I had a little uh, birds named after a person, which I love. <gasps> That's so cute. It's so cute. Mine was birds that live only in the water. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I was going towards that. can that live, so, you, so this is not correct that doesn't. Yeah. That one no. doesn't count, but I have some in my hand. Mine were birds with a body part in their names. Oh. oh. And then my other one was birds with this cavity nest. Yep. Something else I want to talk about is the engine building component and how your engines vary from row to row, which mm -hmm. I think is really cool. So if you're somebody who just like loves drawing cards, hello, Magic players, like you can play around in the water section with the birds to help you, you get more yeah. uh, options there. And obviously you can't go all in on one and ignore the others. But you can kind of go hard in one area if you find yourself like, well, I really want to have better card selection, so I'm going to play water birds. Or I want to make sure my food yeah. stores are always great. I'm going to play forest birds. Yep. I think that's cool. I, yeah, I so enjoy this game. Um, it's very pretty. It plays very well. It plays quickly. We noticed that just the first round played very yeah. fast. Lives um, up to the hype. I think the, the first game that we played where we were all new to it still played in about an hour. Mm -hmm. And that was with us taking very long turns initially trying to kind of navigate our way around the game. Yeah, yeah, and there's definitely a sense of immediacy when you're losing an action cube every round. Yeah. So now next round we only have seven actions and then six and then five by the time the game ends. It's, I, yeah, yeah. I so enjoy this game. I look forward to playing it again sometime very soon. There it is. Because I want to very badly. It's <laughs> very good. So Wingspan from Stonemeyer Games, check it out at your friendly local game shop starting in March.
Wingspan becomes a hugely welcome addition to the medium weight engine building genre as anything with art this good deserves to have equally good gameplay. I want to call out the work of the art team here, especially as Beth Sobel is on the team. You might recall Beth's work from Wonderland, last year's International Tabletop Day exclusive title from Renegade Games. She is quite rapidly becoming one of my favorite tabletop artists and I'm glad to see her more and more. Let's head down our checklist to see how the rest of the game measures up. In the box, rulebook clear with non-gender pronouns. The rulebook uses the second person you throughout and is laid out in such a clear fashion that you'll wonder if it wasn't put together by birds themselves. They're notably fastidious. Iconography clear. There's very little to misunderstand about this title as everything is laid out magnificently and when that iconography is also educational, well, packaging well done. Stonemeyer Games provides those little plastic tub ets, tubbies, small tubs in most of their games and they're very welcome here. Also of note, Wingspan prompted a huge change in my personal vendetta for 2019. No longer will I champion baggies in games. Now I'm demanding that everyone do exactly what Stonemeyer does and put a map of how the game goes back in the box on the box. I am here for this. It's great. On the table, good representation. It's Birds. Finally, our avian friends get the recognition they deserve. Component quality. Huge. Wonderful. Amazing. The eggs have flattened bottoms so they don't roll around, and while the bird food tokens are punch out, the feeder dice tower more than makes up for it. Replay value. The sheer amount of bird cards provides a huge amount of replayability, and the fact that only American avians are allocated here means that hopefully we can see a European or African expansion in the future and finally find out how the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow exactly works. Fun to lose? I wouldn't know. Wingspan earns every bit of the hype it's getting and more. Grab it as soon as I it's available. I beat you! I beat you! <laughs> <laughs> this is Nicholas reminding you to help protect the game population. Always sleeve your cards. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, please hit that sub button and check out all of our other offerings at goodluckhighfive.com. And please consider becoming a patron of the channel at patreon.com slash glhfmagic and help us keep making reviews, videos, and podcasts for as little as $5 a month. We're also always looking for new games to review, so if you make games or you know a company who does and wants to have their game reviewed on Good Luck High Five, please reach out to us at glhf at goodluckhighfive.com and we'd be happy to take a look. You can follow me, Captain N, the Game Master, on Twitter and Instagram at CaptainNGM, and follow the channel at GLHF Magic. Remember, please shop at your local game store whenever possible. Until next time, I'm Nicholas, and good luck, high five.